In today's English lesson, you will learn how to use the two confusing words, advice and advise. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Tricia, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, you will learn to use the words advice and advise. In the word advice, the C makes an S sound, advice. It's a noun and it means a suggestion or idea that may help someone solve a problem. It's never used with an S or like a plural with an S or an ING. No such words as advices or advising exists. Maybe a long, long time ago, but not now. Some sample sentence with advice. I really need some advice about how to improve my business. His advice is to ask other people what they think you should do to improve. She always gives other women good advice about how to improve their careers. Most young people should listen to the good advice they get from their parents. I'll give you one piece of advice, never give up. The second word is advise. In the word advise, the S sounds like a Z, advise. It's also a verb. It means to give someone a suggestion or idea that may help them solve a problem or to give advice. Some sample sentences are, your mother will advise you to eat more vegetables. He is always advising his employees to learn more so that they will be better at their jobs. She advised us to keep studying English if we want to become fluent. Related words are advisor, which is someone who gives advice, and advisory, which is a warning or other important information about something like weather or travel. Some sample sentences are, his business advisor suggested he not release the new product until testing was completed. He left the president's advisory committee after he pulled out of the Paris Climate Agreement. Many governments release travel advisories against countries with a lot of violence. We usually get a weather advisory before we have strong storms in this area. Time for the short quiz to test yourself. So fill in the blanks with either advice, advise, or advises. Number one, she gave me some really valuable blank that I will never forget. Number two, if you ask his opinion, he will blank you to buy some books and read more about it. Number three, if you want to become fluent in English, my blank for you is to take my course. Number four, she blank her employees to take breaks from their work so they could concentrate better. Number five, this one uses two. He always blank people to take his blank. Now, like usual, the answers will be at the bottom of the description, but you can also try answering in the comments and I can let you know if you're right or wrong. Now, if you want more practice, then try making your own sentences with advice or advice or any other word in the lesson in the comments. And I advise you to take this advice if you want to get better at English. That's all for today's lesson, but before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel or sign up to get some emails and other materials from me to help you with English. And if you have time, watch another English lesson for me. Goodbye for now. And remember, with hope, anything is possible. I don't know. I advise you to watch all of my <laughs> English lessons on YouTube. Mm. I can't think of anything. Sometimes I can't think of a sample sentence. I don't know.